Okay, so now you did orange. What comes next? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, red. For Nicholas Ramos, Legos mean hours of entertainment, building a city, or even a train. For mom, Maria, it's a teaching moment disguised as play. I'll say, okay, you'll take one of these and two of these, one of these and two of these, and then he knows, you know, he starts learning about patterns. They're beads. They're just really big beads. Bethany Riddle Johnson is an educational psychologist at Vanderbilt University. She and her colleagues followed 517 low-income children from ages 4 to 11. When the children were in preschool and at the end of first grade, researchers tested them on general knowledge and six math skills, including counting, comparing quantities, and patterning. They wanted to know if, among other things, those three math skills at age four and five would predict math achievement at age 11. The study suggests they do. The way that I think this is, is done well is when it's just kind of incorporated into the fun things you're doing. Card games, crafts, and building blocks provide parents opportunities to talk about quantities and patterns. For Beth Jordan and Caitlin, these are built into their daily routine. It's just kind of a part of, of our talking to her. Oh, how many belly buttons do you have? <laughs> I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.